I'm mad queens on them, but mad schemes on them. I never scale back, the triple beams on them. My ice creams on them, with tank creams on them. I pull up on the block, bumping biggie dreams on them. We're Jungle Beats. We are Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Sandalis. Um, my name is uh, Orange is the New Black. And we're reviewing Nicki Minaj. I'm gonna start this time. Um, Nicki Minaj to me is one of the best MCs in the game currently. Um, I not only love her as an artist, songwriter, rapper, singer, but as a individual and personality. Like she's super cool, super cool girl. That you'd actually be good to get to know. However, I want you to touch on what you were touching on before. Shit. So Nikki, Nikki has dropped a lot of bodies of work, and I believe that she every feature she's done, like 98% of features she's done, have all been stellar, amazing, and she's normally been the center of attention because of the way she commands it. She's just so unique on the mic. Uh, but then I feel like her singles, she has a lot of great ones, some are bad, but then her albums is where I think she falls flat as an artist. I don't believe she has a classic, I believe she has good albums, possibly a great album, but I don't, she's just, she's just lacking in that regards. Because she is one of the best, if not the best female MC right now, living. But uh, I'm just waiting for it. I really think that Nicki needs that classic album. She needs it to cement her place in hip hop. She's already cemented herself, but I think it'll just really help with the other haters like me. That you call yourself a hater? I'm not in ways. Okay. Because I doubt her still. Every time I listen to her album, there's that there's that thought of just like, oh, she's gonna she's gonna spit fast, but there's gonna be these six pop tracks in here that are shit, and I'm just gonna wreck it. I just want straight fast from Nicki for a whole album, and she's never done it for me. Okay. And I know y'all gonna hate that, and you're gonna watch the rest of this video and just comment right now how much you hate me, <laughs> and how much I'm a <laughs> We're probably gonna love this album. But and you're gonna miss it. Cool. You're not gonna be here. So make sure to leave your angry comment below ahead of time. So, so if you're already typing right now. Fuck you, and watch this video, then type a comment later, okay? Yeah. Thanks, that, motherfuckers. Anyway, like, we're here to review Nikki, and the first track is... Ganja Bon. Yes, and we haven't reviewed this already, and we didn't already listen to this, and then forget the camera was on. That didn't happen <laughs> that at didn't all. didn't happen at all. Can't deny, she came out strong from the get. She did. Her verses is where she really shone. Exactly. And I actually really like the uh, Egyptian influence throughout that video clip. Like, you can see people dressed up with, like, the, the head of Anubis, the head of Osiris, so... And even the the way the, the, the gold manner of things that she wore and the dancing. Yeah, it was um visually it was it was quite stunning yeah. and quite feminine and beautiful. Yeah, I of course if you know me already from this channel already, I'm not too good on verses and picking up lyrics, but uh, uh, with those verses she really seemed to actually be um, depicting a lot I, I heard her mentioning a lot of rappers' names right. and doing a play on words with her like she said if you people try and be big but they're biggie and um, the one about Nas, there's also one um about Andre, you so... You can't wear a Nicky wig and be Nicky. That's mm -hmm. like a fat nigga thinking he can be Biggie. Yeah, there you go. One one rough ride now, DMX and Swizzy. Rough ride, because a rough rider. That's really cool, like a little line. Mm -hmm. And as much as I am not huge on this track, I can see how it can get infectious, and I can see the artistry behind it. I think that that beat goes with her voice perfectly. The way she's like... Dun, 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 and with the, the... I felt the guitar at the end wasn't needed, because I thought the guitar kind of took away from the element that she's going for with this track. But I can see why it's added in there to add a bit more because it's a long track. But I thought the minimalisticness of the production with the vocals was really good. And I think it is a really strong way to start the album. Right. Because not only does it sound pleasing, it's also she's, you know, she's actually spitting real hard on here too. And combining both elements of her skills, the rapping and the singing. Yeah. Which is what she's great at. I can actually see this song growing on me, but for now I'm kind of like a little like, uh, nice. Oh. That's Eminem. He just referred himself as the husband of Nikki. The queen of the husband. I think so. Yeah, 
great point, great pickup. I like her comparison to jealousy as a disease. And the outro is quite like she's casting a spell on these bitches. I don't think the outro was needed. I feel like Eminem just went so fucking hard at the bitch. He's making a trend to spit dope verses and other people's music, but his own. <laughs> and uh, it was evil laugh. I just it was There's so many bars here, bro. Dude, he went fucking crazy, man. He You're just, like, when's he going to drop? Is he going to drop? Is he going to do it? That's yep. what I was like. I was like, do something with Eminem. Don't sing this whole fucking verse. Do something with it. And he fucking did something with it. He went fucking crazy, man. Um, I'm not too big on the outro, though. I thought that the track should have ended on that final hook by Labyrinth. I quite like the hook. I kind of like the silliness of it. To the boom, zang, lang, lang. It reminds me of what Pusha did with Cinerita. Hey. Where he took it in, bring it out, took it in, bring it out. Um, but it wasn't as well executed as that. It's, yeah, it's not. And look, that that chorus by Labyrinth is not for me. Um, I like it, Labyrinth. I thought it was good. Nikki's verse to start off with when she went in and she started rapping. The production behind yeah. her really gave her great energy. Nikki and Eminem's verse is both fire. I just don't think the outro is needed. I thought it was done from then on. Still a good track though. Don't get me wrong, that track was fire. It's Bobby Dreams, bitch. Oh, this is like a... This is some old boom bap type shit. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a Biggie sample. Oh. Oh. Like was crying. Oh god. Oh he had these niggas on some special meds. Like, that he was breaking my shit. So, DJ Khaled, boy, we ain't speaking. You know, fat nigga telling me what he ain't eating. Whoa! This ain't what I meant when I said a gang bang. Fuck it, I'm playing. He wanna cut like a tree. And them just niggas don't fucking bite it. I'm riding so in a circle. I turned up on in the purple. I know I look at it. I said, Daddy, come get at it. Huh? Yellow brick roll. He said that I am a wizard. Oh my god. Oh my god. So Nikki's obviously talking about a plethora of male artists that she's having shots at. But did you catch the 50 line? Oh, I gotta go to that. But hold on, I wanna preface all this. Nikki says this song is not a diss. Everybody I talked about on that song I love. I only mentioned people in Barbie Tings that I fuck with. Barbie dreams that I fuck with. This is culture, this biggie, New York, this is fun, lighthearted fun, and I uh, get that. How the hell do you but she called DJ Coward fat? <laughs> Look, man, this is like this is like what you do. Like we we talk sh guys talk shit to each other in this similar way. That's like why true. can't girls? I tried to fuck fifty per for a powerful hour, <laughs> but all that nigga want to do is talk power for hours. <laughs> There's so many lines, and I want to go through some of the best ones here. What were the other ones I caught? There's a designer one. Special Ed, something. Yeah. Designer, I'm amazing. Got out of Special Ed. So she's saying that he's like hugely mentally retarded. <laughs> That's so. Like, I'm just having fun with it. If someone made a joke like me about that, I would be fine with it, but other people would be fucking pissed off. It's interesting. Mick still be in my DMs. I'd be having to duck him. That's an interesting little thing. Mm -hmm. And man, and even like when the beat switched up the outro, she went hard on that outro. Oh, 100%. It's like she was having fun on the intro, and the outro is like, all right, I'm going to stop playing now and just fucking spit. <laughs> I remember when I used to have a crush on Special Ed. Shout out to Designer, because he made, he made it out of Special <laughs> Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I have to cancel DJ Khaled, boy. We ain't speaking. Ain't no fat nigga telling me what he ain't eating. <laughs> yeah, man. Really fun track, but still a lot of bars at the end of it. Great production. Really cool Biggie sample that you picked up. I fuck with it. Really cool track. Yeah, man. That, that's one of my favorite by Nikki. I love how much fun she's having on that. Just doing her thing, man. Going give us in. Give us an album of that shit. Half of having fun, half spitting raw. I love that shit, man. 
on my arm. I like money more than dick, nigga, that's a fact. <laughs> That's, that's a good one. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. I love that. <laughs> she loves doing it. That's such a cool ad lib. Really nice too. This um, sounds like your typical trap banger there. But I loved, okay, what, what I loved about that is that she. Nikki is all about femininity, empowering women to kind of do what they want on their own terms. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I, what I love about it is that she's trying to hold, I think she's trying to hold women to a higher standard. And by doing that with a bit of arrogance and bravado and like, I'm going to pause that and get to a line. Mm -hmm. Well, it's in the chorus. If you know your pussy worth a band's truck, don't let homie fuck unless his bands up. And it's kind of like, you know, empowering women to like, okay, make sure you, you, your dude is... He's got something behind it. You know, it's kind of through like a playful, arrogant kind of line. But, you know, I like the general mm. direction. And even with the first line, one of the first on the track, she goes, look, I like dick, but not as much as I like money. Yeah, So right. it's kind of saying like, as much as like sex should be a big part of your life, enjoyment, you should think about the money as well and more so. Because that's like, sex is sex, but money stabilizes a huge part of your life. And it 100%. goes towards a lot of your happiness too and what you want to do with your time. So yeah. Like more sex. Like more sex. Just last week I told him to pick a side. I was shot, don't guess if it don't apply. Ray out in Paris, he told me to pick a bite. It's like me, you look. I ain't coming to one of the best straight. I used to work hard just to get her back. Work hard just to get her back. I told him knock it off. Anything that you do, you know they knock it off. Put my crown on it. I mean, a good follow up to the last track, production wise, still keeps that trap feel. Mm. Beat slaps. Yep. Hook's trash. If you like. Did you like the hook? I didn't mind it. I think it was so short and just in and out that it didn't even phase me. Verses were fire though. Her wordplay is really clever. Like, like I really like it. It's super engaging, you know. And she's doing a great job so far on this album and I'm really capturing me. Yep, she's doing what I wanted to do. As much as I didn't like the hook on this track, I'm not a huge fan of uh, a lot of trap tracks. She's spitting hard enough that I'm paying it. That I'm, I'm keeping attentive. And um, that's what I want to do. I just wanted to spit for the entire this album. I don't want to... She can sing a bit, but I just I just really want to hear her spit. So far, that's what we're hearing. So Exactly, which is what I want. So keep it up, Nikki. It's interesting. One line, I never play the hope position. I never have to strip to get pole position. Um, and I Is think that it's a shot at Cardi, Cardi, or even E, E V E, mm. Eve, because um, Cardi used to be a stripper, stripper in the yeah. past, and Eve uh, has been a stripper in the past, I think as well. Mm -hmm. um, but even if it's not a shot at them, even if it's just like a general statement, look, I want to be respectful here, but look at the cover. Nikki has used her sexuality and her body and her image throughout her whole career yeah. to sell herself and to market herself and to. Get in pole position. So I'm a little confused on that line. I'm gonna to have to call a rap for that. And that's you know, that's just my interpretation of that. Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies or men. Yeah. Respectfully agree. That's so good. So that's supposed to like represent Justin and like, or Mac and um, fucking Meek. It's real weird. I don't know why that. That's thing. actually because they look like Meek and Mac. I don't know. Yeah, it looks or even yeah. That's a good pickup. Just I don't know. It just look like kind of similar. Not that they're just oh they're both white and black. It's just like I think it's symbolic. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Um, but yeah, I can see why they got a video. It's super catchy. The hook. And um, I mean, it's a radio hit, man. I wasn't really feeling it, but her last verse was really strong. She really came hard on there again. So once again, pause. She's dropping, she's dropping some really good verses. She hasn't dropped a bad, like a bad verse in this album yet. But uh, I can't see myself going back to that one. It's it's just super vibey and not really my not really my thing. But hey, it's still a good track. It's not for me.
probably the most lackluster track, the most lifeless track for me so far on this album. Just didn't feel that energy and passion. Not even The weekend could really give this... Well, he essence. couldn't because Nicky was on the hook. Mm. Abel Cordesotto was just like the backing vocals for the whole track. He only really had his yeah, own little, sort of bridge in a way. Yeah. yeah, I was pretty bored by this track. I wasn't really... Not even... Like you said, not even Abel could really save it. Probably the first track, which I've been pretty bored by. A pity. No rap verse either, but that's okay. <sighs> Nicky. I didn't expect really a full rap album, to be honest. Neither did I, but I wanted one. Yeah. You don't always get what you want. I'm glad we transitioned in. That was perfect timing. I feel like I hear something like Drake on this. But... She's not really doing a lot with this track. She's kind of displaying she got trust issues in her relationship. Trust issues. Drake track. It's a great track. Um, it's boring as the last track to me. Yeah. Don't people that like this, but just an R and B tune, you know? Yeah. It's not feeling this one. Sorry. No more to say on that. Chun Sway. Not Chun Lee. <laughs> oh, Ben Sway Lee. Oh, I like that. Do you know why? You know why it's called Chun Sway? Because Chun Sway. Sway Lee, that's why. Chun Sway, Chun Lee. That's cool. That's... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, the Run and Hide track, here's the first comments on Genius. I just, this is how some of the girls are feeling. Is that the last track? The last track. Oh my god, I'm crying in the car. Put my emotional fucking playlist already. About a thousand emojis. <laughs> Personally, this is my favorite track on the album. Five up votes. How do you go from a thousand to five? Thousand emojis. Oh. So, girls. Sorry. It's for the women, bro. <laughs> That's a good line. Oh, I love you too, boo. I love you so too, boo. Have you gonna miss that, bro? Nah, see, I didn't miss it. I love my boo. Call me Nikki. Mm-hmm. Man, maybe the fans are gonna get hateful of you this time, not me. Man, they can suck my queen. Mm-hmm. Your vagina? Mm-hmm. Where's your vagina located? Oh, don't you worry, boo. <laughs> That's for me and them to know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, we were I'm not mocking crazy. you. I actually like I actually, I'm not mocking you. I like that, that was voice. one of my favorite tracks. I think along with track two and three, that's probably up there as well. I really love are you, that beat. Are you really sleep deprived or really hungry right now? Is every, Are you hydrated right now? Is everything going on right? Are you okay? I mean, I'm very sleep deprived. Why? Okay, cool. cool. Did I cut you off? Cool. Nah, bro. I cut him off. No, you oh, did. I'm, I'm just checking because you're... You, you have an interesting perspective on this track. <laughs> it's a really good track. I think the hook on here is the best hook on the album so far. I've been loving Sway Lee more and more lately with his features. I've never really checked out his solo work, but the hook here is absolutely amazing. He nails it. Uh, Nikki's first verse, good. Her second verse, a bit more trap, a little bit more like, you know, kind of like 21 Savage-like, but fuck, man. The production hook just makes this track really good. I really, I really fucking like this song. It has a nice trap flavor, but for me, it's a bit too long. Um, I think more could have done in less time. And I'd, as good as some people think Swaley's uh, hook is, I think 36 times is a bit much. But that's okay. Yeah, I'm with you. They could take away the outro and one more hook. I'm with you there. But it's fire. Good. 
Oh, but did this track? Oh, shit! This uh. track is shit! Uh. 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 This is King Kong. 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 This is This is Right, interesting. Like nearly every track. This could be a 40 minute album and still be really good. That's a great point, man, with the outros being quite extended. Yeah. I wonder why she chose that. And maybe she's just like, I want to give my fans as much as possible. They've been waiting a long time and they have. Well, maybe it's just like she prefers that structuring. Maybe she still has that old mentality of like, because obviously when she grew up and got popular with her music, it's when like four to five minute tracks are very popular. As these days, it's more two and a half, three minute tracks. Maybe she's still in the mentality of, oh, this needs another verse, or this needs another bridge, or this needs another beat switch, like, because she feels like three and a half minutes isn't long enough. I don't know. Either way, I think that's the... It's a great track, man. Oh, One of the best. It's a great track. I've been smashing that all year. And we did a single review to us. If you girls and guys want to see our, um, our individual thoughts, you can and, go And ahead. it's. So, dicks? And it's. Yeah. So, girls and boys, what if the it's want to check it out? My bad. All colors and creeds and aliens <laughs> and species. If you're a cat... You can fuck off because you're assholes. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Look, you'd be surprised. Right, cut it, man. You could save so much time. It's flaps, though. 100% pro the production, whoever produces. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Fun track. This album's taken a really good turn. Like, we're kind of like exiting more of the the more simple trap into a better, like, a more sort of. Sophisticated. Fun, yeah, exactly. Comprehensive, man. more fleshed out, just um, engaging. Rhythm. Like these past three tracks have been really enjoyable. Really enjoyable. And I, them. I, don't, I didn't know this. Apparently, Nikki's playing up with her signature alter ego, Roman Zelansky, mm -hmm. flow on this track. Is that... Have you heard of that before? Uh, I'm not sure about the flow, but I know that Roman Zelansky, that's why this, she's got an album, Roman. Roman Reloaded? I don't remember. Roman's Revenge? No. Uh, she, it was, I think it's, a, it's one of the albums, but the whole album is about that character. Oh, okay. Is it, what type of character is this? Kind of a bit more crazier one, I guess but you'd like, say. But like, what's this from? Is this she created it? Yeah, it's one of her alter egos. Oh, that's cool. I like how we've got another rapper doing that now. Another fun track. I feel like she's experimenting a little differently there. The combination of production, flow, and pitching in her voice gave yeah. me a different flavor. Really cool keys, nice synths, another trap sort of feel to it as well. But like you're right, her vocals switched up quite a bit from her flow to her pitching, and um, it was a really fun track. I liked it most of the way through. Yeah, and I'd love, to, I'd love to hear that more of a bit of diversity from her yeah. there. So at the moment, this middle aspect of the album, it's taken a big fucking dive upward. Yeah, agreed. Keep it going, Nikki. Nip tuck. <laughs> Nip 
Yeah. It sounds more like an Ariana Grande yeah. type track. That's what I mean. I like when she raps more. The singing's not bad, but I just don't feel like she's a voice that carries throughout a whole song to sing on. Like her rapping is just so demanding, but the singing's just so fucking small. But the thing is, her singing is so well received by a lot of her fans. Because they because they like anything she fucking does. She could fucking queef on a beat for four minutes, people would like it. Say it's a classic. They're so dedicated to her because it's not only as an artist, they're dedicated to her as a person. So it's like to not like your music is almost to like go against their own kind of opinion of her as a person. I, I assume. But it's like this song has been the whole, pretty much the same to me the whole two minutes. You were special. Now you just know. So cut all that bone. The way that it's worked, like you can hear it coming. When he walks the head of bone. Honestly, I couldn't care for the last first step how boring the first two minutes were. I'm sorry. Like, too little, too late. Like, imagine girls like, oh man, I gotta go back to that minute track because that's my jam. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Fucking chicken. <laughs> Rubber duck. <laughs> this come fuck me with a rubber duck. Come, come see about me. All right, the let's, let's end the hook after we've done it for a minute. Let's have about a really nice pause with the dramatic sort of piano. Let's bring the hook back here for another two minutes. Let's do it. That's, that's a great idea. I know y'all females out there, you see the female comments be like, this is going on my most personal playlist and I can't wait to listen to this and cry every time I hear it. <laughs> oh I'm shit. I'm sorry, that is the most generic joke. I don't care if she's saying something really heartfelt on that. I'm sorry, I just don't care when it's that generic and boring. The fucking drums like, doo, 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 doo. this is like, oh. Well, it's a ballad, right? It's quite different from the rest of the album. It's like a ballad track. Oh, I wasn't aware that in the dictionary, ballad means shit. Okay. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Because I actually agree. It is quite generic. But to play devil's advocate, you know, I, I think it is quite sincere and vulnerable. Um, kind of Nikki wearing her heart on her sleeve and displaying her love. And a lot of women out there and men. I, I, and it's... Fuck. i got to do this now. Fucking... Can I just... Damn. It's going to be to be one word for everyone. I'm just amazed that someone can be so vulnerable with four words. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> no, keep coming back, bro. <laughs> I gotta. You got to, bro. I gotta. You got to. Uh, here um, I was thinking that you would be the one getting in trouble, but mm, Nikki. No, nah, because I'm, I'm reading the, the comments, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not on YouTube, yeah. but on the Genius. I'm trying to see what, how, how the people are responding, and I'm like, okay. Man, then Nikki, then Nikki, it's a Nikki track. People are going to always react well. Right. As I said, man. I've seen so far, I haven't seen any negative mm. comments. Like I said, she could queef for 20, 20 years. On a, in a fucking didgeridoo and people would fucking comment this is the best track of last generations of tracks. <laughs> I'd love to see someone queef a didgeridoo. That'd be funny. Like, <laughs> be fucking, let's go to the next track. Just fucking stop letting me talk. <laughs> so ladies, like I get it. I get how that trash can be sentimental to a lot of you. But like man said, it is quite generic and it could have been executed in a more sophisticated well, um more fleshed out manner. You got to think we're, we're music reviewers, or at least we try to be. So we're looking to critique the music as an art. Um, and to, to us, that's just, could have been, oh man, it just could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot. It's like an alien beat. <laughs> You used to play basketball! Yes, with a basketball, not a metal bottle. One, two, three, four! Oh god. It's got a real alien type beat yeah, to like it. The... Yeah, real spooky, real like ha um, Simpsons uh, Halloween special type vibe. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. Those are legendary episodes, Halloween specials. I, I watched those. a lot of Simpsons, so I know what you're talking about. You didn't? I wasn't allowed to watch it. 
Really? What? It was banned from my household. What? Yeah. Apparently it was deemed too crass. So parents and mothers watching. Too crass? Yeah, well, that fucking didn't work. You're a fucking crass mess. That's what happens when you hide something from someone. You want to search it even more. When you find it, you binge it. Exactly. Oh, you actually binged it when you watched it? Well, you only got the chance to, yeah. Yeah. Well, how many seasons did you watch? I'm not sure. I didn't really watch seasons. I just watched would have ran episodes that came on when I was at friends' house. Okay. Um, I'd like to point out just one of the comments on Genius, how everyone was saying, you know, the one, one negative comment, this sucks when they are worst song on the album. Negative 20 downvotes. Um, so sorry, champ. You can't have an opinion that doesn't agree with it. I just can't wait for the day where future is irrelevant. I think the man's dropped two features that I've liked in the thousands of features he's put out. I don't think I've ever liked a single track by him except for the track he did with Kendrick Lamar on the remix because he's the only reason that song was good besides the end of the beat. I just cannot wait for this man future to just become dust. Not dead, dust. <laughs> I'm just losing a bit of interest with this repetitive genetic generic style, yeah. nothing switching up, not engaging. That's, that's the thing though, like it's interesting to begin with, but it's about that three quarter mark in a songs where it's just either a hook repeating or her flow. I feel like she, she, her verses start off well, but her, voice, her second verses sometimes are just like a little bit too like lackluster. Like I know what it is. It's like she's not spitting as hard all the time as she could be. Because remember on songs she gets like she gets you, you can tell when her verses just demand attention. Yeah, when she's got that passionate energy. Yeah, like I fuck with this beat. The keys and speed are absolutely beautiful. Like really fucking good trap beat. The hook's kind of boring. She did have a good verse, but like once again, just it's just not holding my attention around the three quarter mark. Nearly. Nearly every track on this album is just just too long. You could easily cut this this an hour and ten minute album pretty much down to forty five minutes, like easy, easy. Scrap the interludes as well. I don't know why the fuck they're there. Much better. It's one of the one of the better best tracks for me there, man. You know she kept that engaging the whole time. Mm -hmm. The flow, the beat. What she was talking about was interesting. Yeah, the beat was great. The hook was really catchy. Even Foxy Brown, who I just oh, would never thought I would have heard. Feature. I never would have heard her again. She fitted that beat perfectly. And I would have loved a Buster Ryan's feature on here. I reckon his deep voice with the graveliness would have suited that perfectly. But uh, fuck yeah, it's a really good track. And I've been wondering where the fuck that's been. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a couple of minutes since we heard that one. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nikki. That thank was, you, Nikki. I wish there was a bit more of that on this album. So hey, hey, yo. That's a real strong way to end, but I don't know why oh, she is. separated them into separate tracks when it's it's pretty much the same beat. Yeah, that's really bizarre. Are you know. just going for streams, Nikki? Like that's the only justification. I, I don't got. know why it split that up. Very like the structure in this album was a bit weird in ways. I mean, it flowed well because it went from like different types of trap and like the R and B. So I guess it flowed in that regard. But the interludes and that right there, nah. <laughs> Spray painted that dog. Because they're assholes. Seems unnecessary. Well, I'm Bobby, worth the ASAP chicken. Bobby, I'm from New York, so I'm happy. Say he fucking with my coffee. Small talk, I don't fuck with chit chat. AC just got broken, so they hit me. Told me, bring my wrist back. I'm gonna have a real super unpopular opinion. I, re I like that mur. I like that burr. I like that track. I thought the production was great. And I I've never heard a. What's his name? 6ix9ine? Takashi 6ix9ine. Takashi 6ix9ine. That's how much I've heard of him. I barely know how to pronounce his name. 
But I like that hook a lot. I love the bounce to it. I love the flow to it. I love the pacing and organization of it. It really engaged me. And I think they work well together too. I know, I don't know anything about his personality or his fucking, what he's accused of or whatever, but taking all that away, that's a dope track to me. Watch I can see why it's so popular. Watch an interview and you'll see how of a great human being he is. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll skip that. Um, the best part of that track is the beat for me. The beat slaps and I think that's the main reason why that track is good. Also, the Nikki feature is good because her first, she obviously wasn't trying too hard on that track, but she still sounded nice. I don't give a fuck about that track, and I don't give a fuck about 6 9 Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Um, anyway, so, Nikki's album, Queen. Queen. You want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. Alright. Um, Queen is... This album is too bloated for me. Um, it overstays its welcome, but it has many, many elements that could make this one of mine and people's most popular or favourite Nikki albums. It has the potential to be. Um... Yeah, many great moments on this track, many great tracks, and again, showcasing why Nikki can, as you say, drop a classic. She has mm -hmm. the potential to. She does. If she has the right guidance, organization, cohesiveness, and conceptual complexity, and putting all this together to have a fleshed out project. This, the structuring seems off um, to critique it, and the tracks seem too long at times with the outros being extended and unnecessary. Uh, I could go on, but I'm going to let you finish. I think I feel similar to you, but maybe in a even more so boring approach. I agree, it was way too bloated. You could easily make this a 10-track album, 12 tracks, hell, it just 18 tracks, I think it was like two interludes. Oh, 18? I think it was 20. I don't know, man, but either way, like... It's 20. It's too long. Um, I will give it to you, though, Nikki. This is like probably you've had... You were saying a lot on this album. You were spitting a lot on this album. And for those tracks, I really dug like, so probably like a good 50 to 60% of this album, but not enough for me to go back to listen to this as a whole because there was just too much in this album which just bored me and uninspired me. And I'm sorry, like, I just don't think this is the one. I think it's definitely one of your better albums. I really do. But I don't see this growing me that much. I don't see myself going back to this. And I think that you just have to get back to it and try and find that classic within you because this is not it. So we're Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Sandalis, aka Sand Sand. Orange is the new black. And uh, we're Jungle Beats. I just said that. Fuck. Just make sure to leave your angry comment below why I'm you Jungle disagree Beats. with us. Sorry? I'm Jungle Beats. You're Jungle Beats? You're Jungle Beats. So can I finish what I'm saying? We're Jungle Beats. Dislike the, the video, unsubscribe, flag our content for inappropriate content. Actually, don't do that. Honestly, funny. if we get more dislikes than likes for this one, wouldn't surprise me with the R Nikki fans being tough. Oh, Nikki Minaj! She can't do no wrong. I think mocking them is not the a good way to start, but fuck it. Just, you could cut it out. Nah, I'm not. I think y'all don't know. I think they're gone. Y'all don't know how to take like other people's opinions. Opinions, right? So like just, assholes, guys. Everyone's got one. Yeah, I mean, some of y'all do, but not many. I'm sorry. Like, that's it. Queen, Nicki Minaj. Can't believe we're done. That took so long. Yeah, man.